well today hasn't gone to plan um, my uh, BMW right here um, everything I repla uh, replaced on and everything um, the alternator decided to shit itself and I was about 50 kilometers away from town and um, yeah I realized when I had the battery warning coming up and then I lost air conditioning for some reason um, and then I lost um, stability control ABS and everything um, so <laughs> I've been trying to sort it out for the last um, few hours and I was ringing around places and then I had to also find places to stay I've also lost money because of where I was meant to stay tonight in Gracetown because I'm in Mandarin up right now um, yeah this has not been nice um, whatsoever um, but at least it happened now rather than later and I tried to make my way to uh, Gracetown but I made it four kilometers out of town uh, thinking I would be able to make it you know just by um, I jerry-rigged um, my solar panel up there, my uh, 110 watt panel. I had a cable going right the way down here, all the way down here, um, under, the, under like what this is doing now. I had a solar regulator as well under there, um, all strapped in, and um, yeah, I thought that would work. I really thought it was going to get me there. Four goes out, I ended up with, I lost everything. I lost, yeah, I had no power lost power steering, uh, engine died completely um, and then I was ringing around places trying to find parts one place they said oh we might have the part and then um, so I, I waited for them to get back to me and then they turned out they didn't then I rang another place they said oh don't know I don't think we better get the part and then uh, they thought I said uh, a, power st um, a starter motor because someone else was asking for a starter motor so um, I said no, it's a power steering, um, an alternator for my car, and they said actually we've got six options for you to choose from. Um, would you be able to get down here and uh, be, able to, be able to find, um, be able to pick out which one you need? And I said sure. Um, I'm a kilometre away. My car won't start. I've got to wait for a bit more juice to get into it. But um, we're here now. Um, I, I'm at a campsite here. I'm here. I pay for two nights. I'm probably only going to be here for tonight and then heading off to the next spot um, but yeah this has been an absolute nightmare I'll just keep checking the uh, screen over here just to check I'm in focus but yeah this has been an absolute nightmare but if it happened in the th in the middle of nowhere no phone reception nothing and I, I would have been stranded for days maybe even weeks who knows you know some places I go to are remote um, so yeah a new alternator six hundred dollars I'm getting a Bosch one um, there is a generic one, I'm going to see what the differences are between the two. Um, it, there's a, um, a cooling element with a fan at the back of the um, alternator for better efficiency. Um, keep it cooler and it helps it last longer. So, um, yeah, uh, hopefully either one. So, But I've got to uh, fit it and I'm hoping I can unload my car here because I've got to take the battery. I've got to unload the whole of the back of the car because if I go back here right now, yeah, you can see I've got all my camera gear, got my fridge, got all my camping stuff. Hopefully it'll see you. Yeah, so I've got it all loaded in here. Then I have to take the back out, um, remove the spare tyre. Um, and also with the, actually I'll show you the engine bay as well. Um, so yeah, I've put a, a camp, um, one for a, a caravan because the campsite ones didn't have enough room for your car as well and I need power as well so what I've got to do, I'm sorry about the, the motion in the background I hope it's not making you sick or anything um, I don't like that myself in videos but tomorrow I've got to remove the inlet manifold for the air I've got to take that, remove the air filter right down here the hosing, um, I've got to remove the fan trowel, the uh, the main fan with the flat fan clutch, remove the belt, the auxiliary belt um, for you know all the accessories. Um, the alternator, uh, the air conditioner has got its own spare, its own separate one, um, and a whole lot of other stuff as well uh, to get to the alternator, unbolt the alter alternator, disconnect the battery, and I reckon this is going to take me probably two hours to do if I can do it all here and get it all prepped um, tomorrow morning here 
then the job is only going to it's going to take me less time because there's less stuffing around um, I'm just hoping I can do the work here I know some sites that are a bit um, that are they don't allow you to work on cars but this is just an alternator it's not and there's no oil or no fluids that will be going out um, yeah I just want to fill you in I thought I wasn't going to do a thing on this but this is just blown into another proportion and it's a part of it you know um, I've done so much work on this car I've um, re replaced the suspension I've replaced the brakes I've replaced the cooling system I've um, done some of the electrical stuff I've um, oh, there's so much I've spent money on um, I do all the work myself so I know this car inside and out um, replace all the fluids I just need to replace the front drive shafts um, because the uh, CV joints are are clicking so I'll replace those at some stage um, but yeah the alternator I need to do um, and that's coming tomorrow oh what a mess um, just notice the wires pinched oh yeah the wires pinched in the metal here I need to uh, unpinch that so I need to get back into the car I'm um, the bonnet but yeah I've um, got a trickle charger up to it now just to get a bit of life back into it and maintain that battery because the last thing I want is for the battery to die and it's still early days you know with everything so yeah, just move that around there maybe clip it under the under the uh, um, what do you call it uh, the wiper <laughs> technical term <laughs> yeah wiper so yeah bit of work to do tomorrow um, but yeah hopefully it'll just take a day off on my trip and I'll be able to make it to uh, Gracetown. Um, yeah, this is an absolute nightmare. I'll uh, try and show you uh, what I do on the car tomorrow. Um, but for now, I'm uh, going to set up my camp, um, which is going to be just in this little patch here. So, yeah. I could have the awning out, but there's no need. Um, yeah, that's actually why I parked uh, this side, so I can use my little two-meter awning. Um, but yeah, not going to need it. I've got this lo these lovely trees and a lovely bit of shade. There is a bit of noise from the traffic, um, but I wear earplugs anyway, so all is good, all is well, and I'm getting this thing sorted. If um, oh, it's still quite dark, oh, I'll go against the building. Actually, no, I'll go stand here. So if it wasn't for me not being able, if I wasn't able to do the work myself, it would cost me a lot. And the place where I'm getting it apart from, they said they wouldn't be able to fit it. So um, yeah, great that I can do it all myself. Anyway, I'm going to maybe have a nice cup of tea, or what I'd done before, I went to, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, Wal Walpole, and I got some food, up, some chocolate eggs, and got myself a banana milkshake, and I'll probably have that now. Um, and just relax and just try and yeah just relax after everything that's just gone on this afternoon um, yeah I am it's seriously lucky with what's happened you know if it as I said if it happened really far away um, then yeah I'd be in trouble and if, if it was remote um, but yeah uh, about 20 k's out of town is when my battery died and then I got a bit charged in it from the solar um, and then I had stop start stop start um, aircon off all the auxiliaries that I could turn off windows open low revs um, yeah even if I gas it a little bit I have nothing and it goes into limp home mode as well so that's not good um, but yeah I'll I just wanted to do a little thing on it because um, it's a part of travelling and this shows you there's um, things do go wrong and it can be car related, travel related, getting to your destination so it's real world you know um, I could very easily not say this ever happened I mentioned it on Instagram, I've done some stories on there um, but I felt like you know with this channel I don't want it to just be me showing you how I take photos and everything I want you to come along the journey and if, I, if stuff like this happens um, or problems happen then I can bring it up and tell you about it um, it's all a part of this documentary this is like a digital diary for me um, a journey seeing where so I can look back in five years time see where I was and see where I am now um, yeah 
Anyway, I'll uh, keep you posted tomorrow. I'll do a little video then. Um, and yeah, anyway, I hope everyone has a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow morning. So I just got some news, um, the alternators have arrived, the reason why I say alternators, there was an aftermarket one and there was a Bosch one, um, and it looked like the, uh, the cooling element uh, to it, the uh, connector was different on the aftermarket one but they had two images which didn't add up so yeah going to uh, head over there now and then uh, fit the alternator in the car park. I was thinking about doing it here, um, but I think it's just gonna be too much of a faff and I can easily move stuff into the back here. So um, yeah, I'll do that and sort of, because I've got to get to the battery, disconnect the battery, because I've done that last time. I forgot to do that last time and I almost ended up electrocuting myself. Um, yeah, all those amps are not really that good uh, when you're working around the engine bay. It sounded like a welder went off. So yeah, uh, check out and um, of this place i spent spent two nights i'll pay for two nights but i need to stay for a night and i don't care it was a backup contingency going well 10 minutes in we've got the auxiliary fan off or the main fan got the belts off got the guards all of that's out the battery's disconnected now we just need to unbolt the alternator and wiggle that out and then put the brand new one in this posh one so yeah 15 minutes in alternator is out right down just down here, old, looks a bit grubby, brand new Bosch one. Yeah, this should work a lot better now. Uh, going well, um, then all I need to do is put it back in, bolt it on, um, and put anything back and I should be done. What time is it now? So I started at 25 past and it's 22. Um, so I should be done by probably about five minutes to, I reckon. Bit of a job to get it out, um, but I know this engine really well. I know this car really well, so yeah. If you were doing this for the first time and you don't know anything about cars, you'd be uh, absolutely stranded. But yeah, let's get this done. Got to go in there. So yeah, going well. I had to remove the power steering reservoir, just give me a little bit more room. But yeah, just going to slide it back in there, and off we go. Thank you to these guys for helping me out. Absolute legends. Oh, blimey. Uh, so, what a past 24 hours, hey? Um, yeah, we had an alternator that was working, and then it died on us, um, and I was stranded. I didn't know what was going on. I thought I was gonna have to get a tow truck. I thought I was gonna have to spend thousands of dollars getting my car home, um, which I would have done. I would have spent the money on it because it's, it's worth it to me to spend the money on it. Um, but yeah, so glad I rang around and ran, and the second person I found, uh, said, yeah, we can get you the part. Um, there's six of them to, for you to choose from. And, um, yeah, I was able to get them. I'm just going to tilt you down a little bit. Here we go. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And, uh, within, um, less than 12 hours, basically the part was here. Or no, just over 12 hours. What was, what was it? Um, in less than 24 hours, um, the part was here. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. I stopped, I know I um, stopped recording on the camera, then I was going to do another bit. I think I forgot to hit record um, in the whole, I was really confused, I was so tired, and I was in a lot of pain. Um, so yeah, I think I messed up by not hitting the record button. But I ended up making it to Gracetown Caravan Park, where I have a nice little ensuite chalet thing. Um, so that was really nice, and I ended up spend, spending another day relaxing there before heading out the next day but yeah thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one okay bye for now